Hello, hi and assalamualaikum. How are you, my students? So, how's life? How is your journey going to learn Java with me in this video series? I need your comments, right? So that I could know if like work I'm doing is beneficial for someone, for some of uh, people who are following me here. So um, in today's video, we are going to study Java constructors, right? So what is constructor? Constructor in Java is a special method, right? That is used to initialize objects. What does it mean to um, initialize objects? Let's see. The constructor is called when an object of a class is created. It can be used to set initial values for object attributes, right? So this is the meaning. Initial values for object attributes are set when this constructor is called and constructor is called every time an object of the class is created. So let's look at this code snippet here. We have public class main, right? We have one, uh, you can say class attribute into X, then we have a main method there. And uh, uh, main, me sorry, this method is uh, is constructor of this main class. How we know this? Because this has the same name as the class name main, right? And when this constructor is called, it sets the value of this attribute, which is which is an integer, is equal to five set the initial value for the class attribute x that's right and now come to our next part of the code where we have we are defining the object create an object of class main this will call the constructor constructor will assign a value of um, five to x and then in our print line statement we call object dot x mean print the value of this attribute okay so let's look at it in detail so maybe we can change this value to 60 6666 okay run the code and that's it I hope you understand the concept as I explained how this 6666 is being printed. We have one this main my object is equal to new main uh, code. This line of code makes an object called my object, right? And this object when created executes this method which is constructor for the main class when this is construct when this method uh, or constructor executes it assigns value of 6666 to this parameter or attribute of this class which is integer x this value 6666 and after that when we reach here and we do the print line of this uh, class attribute x my object dot x it prints out 6666 okay I hope you understand this concept okay so here we have some important things to remember note that constructor name must match the class name and it cannot have a return value like white don't forget this also note that the constructor is called when the object is created all classes have constructors by default whether you define them or not yeah don't forget this if you do not create a class constructed yourself java creates one for you however then you are not able to set initial values for the object attributes yeah because as you can see here this is main this is a 
constructor which assigns value x is equal to 5. Even if we don't write this constructor, but when we create this object, uh, the object will be created and similar method will be executed, will be created, uh, but not, will not be visible to you in the code. But it will not have this line in it, x is equal to 5. So this um, attribute x will remain unassigned. It will not have any value. Okay, I hope you understand this concept. Next look, next look at constructor parameters so guys constructors can also take parameters which is used to initialize parameters attributes sorry the following example adds an int y here you can see in main constructor method that int is y parameter to the constructor inside the constructor we said value of attribute x equal to y when we call the constructor we pass the parameter to constructor okay number five which will set the value of x to five and when we print it out the output is five so we can see this ourselves yeah okay uh, rather than five i can make it okay five nine five and run the code it's under execution Compilation and execution and 595 is the result. Okay, gents and ladies. Now let's look at the last example. Here we are, the, con the concept is you can have as many parameters as you want. For example, here we have two attributes, integer, model year, string, model name. And these two attributes are initialized from by the constructor. Constructor receives two parameters, and these are the integer year and string name. And then these are assigned to these attributes. Then in this main method, we create an object, send 1969 in Mustang as parameters to the constructor the constructor assigns these values to these attributes and when did we do the printout we are getting output 1969 mustang so let's execute this code and see what's the result okay even maybe i can change 1999 and we can call it toyota okay and let's run it so this is executing and we have the output which satisfies this like of uh, this satisfies our understanding of execution of this code okay guys we have reached end of our chapter here right and uh, i hope this is um this video was understandable and very useful for you and you have understood java constructor in detail when they are executed how to define them they don't have a return type they are executed when object is created they can assign they can initialize values or not they can receive parameters so these are important concepts which you need to understand so don't forget these concepts these are very useful concepts and you will be using them again and again and again when you do real life development of programming based on java language okay guys please do share subscribe this video like it give your comments i'll be waiting take care bye bye and Allah Hafiz.